Could you love yourself higher? God was sitting at a desk in his office, both arms resting on top of a piece of paper with a quill in his right hand. He stood up, but the quill continued to dance on the paper. Golden and glowing letters formed on the page and then floated upward. Her writing? God asked me as he walked by me and into the hall. Yes, please, I responded. He nodded his head up and down once, agreeing to the request. Come with me. He grabbed a raincoat that was stored on a hook just before he exited the building and swung it around his shoulders. It floated like a cape as he slipped his arms first into the right side of the jacket and then the left, and then swiftly pulled a hood up over his head. I looked down at myself and I was covered head to toe in waterproof outerwear. This way, God said, and then ran towards the water. I quickly followed after. The roar of a waterfall made it difficult to hear. The spray from the chilly, splashing water made it challenging to see. God grabbed my right hand with his left to get my attention and then pointed with his right arm. My eyes followed the point of his finger out into the water where I first saw her. Underneath the stream of the falling water, she stood still, drenched. My eyes continued to the name on the side of the boat. Sadness. God, I pleaded and gasped. He threw me to the boat and I immediately embraced her as he pulled us both back to the shore. The scenery instantaneously changed to calm, serene, and peaceful. The three of us sat on the grass of a gentle rising hill and watched the water quietly float by. My love, God said, the waterfall he paused and then took a bite of a sliced red apple. Crunching, he continued, is your fears. He held a sharp knife in his right hand, sliced another piece, and offered it to her. She shook her head quickly left and right and held up her hand, saying no. He tossed the apple slice in his mouth and crunched it loudly. She contemplated why this conversation was happening this way at all. She wondered what it all meant. Why was this the message, and what was she going to do with this? This seems weird, she thought in her head. God answered her out loud. I know it seems weird, but give me just a minute. He stood up and dusted off his pants. The apple and knife disappeared. In its place, his desk with the book and the dancing quill. When you try to write under pressure, he paused and pointed to the book. One letter at a time. A golden and glittering capital E floated off the page. When you release your fears, he kneeled down close to her and turned toward the book. Watch, he whispered. He put his hand on her shoulder and her whole body illuminated with light as warm as the sun. The book sprouted with flowers, grasses, flying insects, and tiny fairies. The moon and sun rose and set over the book garden, and seasons changed as each page turned. When your fears are too loud, God turned on the roaring waterfall for an instant. You cannot hear your inner brilliance. He stood up and sat down in front of her and offered his hands to hold. And when you are not tapping into your inner brilliance, your soul is sadness. God pointed to the boat meandering down the river. When you let go of all of your worries, your fears, your what if this isn't going to work out, God looked over his right shoulder at the boat, now full of piles of worries, fears, and what if this isn't going to work out, and then back at her and spoke directly to her heart and soul. The boat's name changes to happiness, and it flows with ease down the river. He studied her reaction. You don't like my metaphor. Um, she said, I feel like I have fallen into Alice's hole. Love, you have risen, God said softly. The word risen had magic. It spoke to a deeper place within her, a remembering, a sacred understanding, a knowing not yet unlocked. It felt familiar and a little scary. You may not understand all of this now. That is okay, love, God said with a gentle and loving smile. I do not ask that of you. I do ask one simple thing. God paused and waited to see if she was interested to know. 
Her curiosity rattled a cage deep within her soul. Could you love yourself higher? God asked. The energy of the question hit her like a shockwave of energy and pushed her gently backwards. That feels heavy. Could I love myself higher? She softly repeated. God nodded his head up and down in confirmation, but yet knowing she was not ready to answer. It scared her, worried her. The question ignited a small flame inside her in addition to more questions. Could I love myself more? What does loving myself higher mean? Where would higher take me? Where would I go? What would I do? Who would I be? All great questions to write about, love, God said with a smirk. The book on the desk began vibrating. The garden sucked back into the pages and the book closed with a thud. God picked up the book and put it under his left arm. God looked at me and asked, Are you ready? I nodded my head yes with a smile. She watched us walk away to our next adventure.